Okay, so amongst the first comments that I had on the cooks of carving videos that I put up was a request to see the bench that I was using in a little bit more detail. So here it is, this is my bowl mate. It's essentially a hazel log, probably 40, 50 years old, um, which I've chopped up um, a section out of the middle from uh, using my chainsaw. Uh, and then I've drilled a couple of holes in it. And the idea is that these, uh, these ash pegs, um, which are oval, and um, basically you go into the holes and then either from here to there you're able to carve a bowl from a log um, and from here to here a cookser. So the idea is that the, the handle of the cookser goes between the pegs, the body where my hand is and then we add a little bit of packing in the nose and that is enough to keep the wood stable as you add and gouge into it. It's a fairly rough and ready bit of kit. Um, I made it in a bit of a rush. This was the largest log that I had um, and it was inspired by a course I went on, the Spoons from the Wood course that Barn was running, um, which I went on I think five or six years ago now. We had a go uh, with some benches that he had and this is my replica of, uh, of that approach. The legs are ash legs and they're just mortised in to large, uh, large holes in the body. So there it is, that's my bowl mate. Um, if you're going to do one yourself, I suggest you spend as much time getting this right level, which you can see this one isn't, um, as possible. And then you can add or take features away from it. I particularly like the holes in the middle and they're going to be a feature of benches that I make in the future. Um, I like this, uh, this little stop on the end, it allows you to turn the bowl over. Uh, not so much useful for cooksers, but for a, for a larger sort of um, table bowl. Um, that you've hand carved. If you pop it over over the stop, you can then use the um, the, the push knife and the smoke shaver and things like that for it. So yeah, I'm just going to take you off the tripod. We'll have a quick wander around and get a little bit of a closer look. So the other thing that you notice at this bench is that it's right up at waist height. I really enjoy working that high up. I find that I'm able to get a lot more leverage behind the tools um, and then there's less to worry about in terms of sticking yourself in the leg uh, and doing some damage. So yeah, you can see the hazel here is fairly typical of its smaller cousins. It's got a monster split going through and I think the leg will basically break out of it eventually. But I do have another one in development. So, this little fella is designed particularly for cooksers, although there's no reason you couldn't do a bowl with it. Um, and the idea is it's just a cut down version of the larger bench that it's sitting on. On the end here, I've just got a little notch and a platform, uh, a, a slope platform for spoon carving. And my theory is that I could basically um, take this along to shows. It's a lot more portable. It's easier to have behind the stall uh, and so that I can carry on working whilst I'm selling. You'll, um, you'll see more about this piece of sycamore and how that goes as time goes on. So yeah, if you do have questions about the tools and uh, the contraptions that I'm using, pop them in the comments below uh, and I'll try to respond to everyone. So um, I think next up we're gonna look at how to use the tools and we're gonna go through a bit of cooks and carving.